Summer is almost here, but the flu season may just be getting started. It is really unusual for the flu season to be so active. Here it is, end of May. So this is a new virus. It's doing unusual things, and that's why we have to track it so carefully. Officials have tracked over 5,000 confirmed cases of H1N1 infection in 48 U.S. states. On Sunday, the virus claimed its sixth victim, a New York City assistant principal. This flu is different. We don't have a lot of natural, a lot of immunity to it. Um, at least many people don't, and it appears to spread more rapidly. In a typical flu season, about one in a thousand people die from the virus, mostly those with pre-existing health problems. That's roughly the same as we're seeing with this current strain of H1N1. However, this virus is unique in a couple of different ways. What continues to be distinctive about it is, first of all, its transmission very late in the season, and second, its predilection for young people uh, with great uh, frequency. Researchers are hoping to understand why H1N1 is different by decoding its molecular structure and by seeing how quickly it spreads in animals. So we infect one animal, put it into a cage, and then have an uninfected animal in another cage about a foot away, and then we ask the question, how fast does the virus get transmitted? Today, the CDC told CBS News that by the end of the month, it expects to deliver the virus to manufacturers for analysis, the next step in vaccine production. But there's still no decision to actually make it. Meanwhile, experts hope the virus takes the summer off. With the end of school and children dispersing, I think we will see uh, this H1N1 virus bottom out during the summer and then quite likely coming back in the fall. Some good news. So far, this new strain has not mutated into a more deadly form. But the flu virus is famous for changing, so officials definitely are not letting their guard down. Katie? That sounds like a good thing. Dr. John LaPook, John, thank you so much.